Taurus to your mid-month reading for July. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and new and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your energy, what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you for the mid-month. Best message for Aries Taurus, please. Best message for Aries Taurus. card upside down feeling imbalanced at this time something might not feel as justified as it should wanting some justice not feeling like it's there because you just got out of some legal matters as well for some of you it could have been a lawsuit that's on your mind not feeling like it's justified clarifying on the justice over here it really just feels unfair more than anything guys something unfair is going on so you might be being unfair yep someone could be being unfair wanting the harmony but they're being unfair with that harmony here this is the overall um, message for the whole reading so getting into that harmony feeling the peace just wanting some peace and quiet, maybe. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, this is unfair. Stop arguing. I just want some peace and quiet. <clears throat> okay, going over here to the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Now, I want this to be more fair, having accelerated motion using that intuition in the near future nice so it feels like there was some kind of accelerated motion going on it did feel like you were getting your goals set things were going your way you had a chariot coming in um everything felt great um and then all of a sudden something unfair happened maybe somebody feels like ooh, it was unfair that you had a chariot come in wow huh On this could be a Capricorn could be yourself it feels like your prosperities came through and you got yourself really balanced and then all of a sudden this unfairness came through with the nine of cups somebody was not happy it could be a Pisces or an Aquarius you know unhappy towards your goals you know I'm starting to feel like the reason they're treating you unfairly over here it could be like envious of your prosperities So they're not treating you very good. Well, I don't want to think that it's like two in one. Could be an air sign, maybe a Libra or two that you're dealing with. I feel like somebody thinks it's unfair that you had great things happening to you. I think it's envy. I think it's unfair that you, you know, and you feel it's unfair that they're treating you this way. You know, all I want over here is harmony. You were feeling harmonious over here until they came around and made it go upside down. Wow. I just want to celebrate and be happy. Yeah. Look at that. Three of cups. You just want to celebrate, but they're not happy for you. Two of cups, but you're making this ununified. They just, there's a separation between the two of you. And this other person is saying they want a separation. And you want to, they want to separate themselves from your happiness. That's jealousy. Yeah, because they made a judgment call against your, a bad judgment call against your happiness, against your authority, against the things that you held um, authority for. Things that happened that were great for you. You're feeling like you're on top of the world over here. Here's this beautiful fire within you. And I'm telling you, it's envy. It's jealousy. 
Look, if they're not happy for you and they want to separate from your happiness, what the hell is that? And you feel like this is very unfair. Why are you treating me so unfair? You should be happy for me. Well, you can't be happy for someone when you're jealous. This could be a friend. I mean, Harmony card could be, any, you know, it's just, it, you know, don't worry about these two people here because that's not, that doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be always that. It's just the harmony of life in general, the harmony of the friendship, the harmony within itself. And this person is not harmonious and you're confused. They could show confusion and imbalance because you can't understand why they're doing this. Well, I'm telling you, they're jealous. They're making a judgment call against your happiness. I don't care if it's a loved one, a friend, a family member, a coworker. Maybe you got a promotion and they didn't. You know, it doesn't matter. And you're like, why aren't you happy for me? I don't understand. I did all this great stuff. Like there, the only way that that could happen, right? Yep, there it is. Jealousy. Five of swords upside down. They want to see you as their enemy. Feuding. Causing a feud with you for no reason. And you're like, I don't understand why you're feuding with me. I don't understand why you want to be my adversary. I don't understand this jealousy. Plain and simple. I don't even need a jealousy card. You can see it right there. I mean, come on, guys. You know it, right? I mean, when you're imbalanced, you don't really see it. Right? Because it kind of hurts because you don't understand. But right here, I'll tell you right now, this is all about their envious of your, of your prosperity is. And it, their enviousness was kind of over here, but it moves straight into jealousy. Envious is like that word, like, I wish I had what they had because I'm envious of you. I'm so envious. You're getting everything you want. And then when they really see you celebrating and really getting what you want in the present, it turns into jealousy. Now it's gone from, wow, I'm really envious of you. I wish I could do that. That's fine, whatever. But when it turns into jealousy, then it turns into enemies and now they're probably texting you calling you or ignoring you or doing something but however it is the judgment call against you is bad they blew their horn with the judgment upside down and they're talking shit sorry i'm just gonna say it. whether it's to you or to someone else it's them and I'm going to tell you right now, whoever you're dealing with, the majority of you, not all of you, it is an air sign. And they are so jealous. Some of you, it could be a Cancer or a Capricorn. <laughs> and I get all these cards, right? I get all these cards. But, um, but Spirit's going to bring it up as this air sign could be an Aquarius. Uh, God, they're all three Aquarius. And then, of course, the Libra, but... The Libra is just pretty much just showing the imbalance and how they're, and speaking of the, not the truth, speaking untruths. How about that? Yeah. Because the King of Swords likes to talk a lot of crap. Right? Sorting you all over the place. Whether it's to you or behind your back, doesn't matter. Maybe both. Yeah, but however it is, they've got you crutching because you, you just don't understand. Like, why would you do this? Well, we've known each other. For a lot of you, you've known each other for a long time. Um... And you're even having maybe even some nostalgia right now about the good times that you were having and how they the good times now have turned into nightmares. How could a person that I've known for a lot of you for so many years, who is supposed to be maybe my best friend, my boyfriend, my mom, my sister, whoever this person is, um, turn around, even a coworker, turn around and turn my life into a nightmare? I think a lot of them are talking crap. And you know it. And this is where it's un it's unfair because it's kind of like, where'd you hear that? I heard that from the King of Swords. And that hurts. It hurts bad. And so, you're, you know, you're going to try to move on from this. Spirit says just move on from this. 
you know, because this is jealousy. In the near future, you have the intuition enough to figure things out and perceive things for the way that it's supposed to be and continue with your own imprints. Continue to be the beautiful person that you are and go after the things you're supposed to do. You know, just do yourself over here. Yeah, but there is still confusion. Wow. See, it, it kind of sucks because it's like you're, you're, you're having intuitive thoughts about the confusion. So which means you're getting, you know, you're perceiving the confusion a lot better, but it's, there's still confusion. It's almost like every day and they're holding tight to this. They are not going to let this go. And for some of you, it could be a Capricorn that's doing this as well. You know, if it's not an, an air sign, because I'm getting a lot of Capricorn and a lot of air more than anybody. And they're holding tight to this confusion, to these opinions, to this nonsense, this talking. You know? Spirit says you just need to really make your chariot go into another direction because really all of these options and stuff, even though you're using your intuition um, to get through this, you need to try to get away from that person. Yeah, because they're not doing anything to help anything. Um, but they're not going in a different direction. They're coming right at you. It's almost like they don't have any ships coming in for themselves to be happy about. They have nothing over here to be happy about. This is why they're jealous. That's why they're jealous. Yeah, they live in a life of destitution, making it themselves. And some of you might be dealing with a cancer. Now I'm getting a lot of cancer coming up too. So take it how it resonates. Everybody's person could be different, but um, they have nothing coming in. So the only thing they can do is really just talk be jealous and throw things around that has to do with you. And they're really holding tight to this about you. It's almost like, it almost feels like in the near future, it's almost like they're now they're like almost kind of like absorbed with your being an imprint, your upcomings, self-absorbed, right? Like, so like maybe even like excessively obsessed about look at what they're doing. And then, like, saying it all over the place. Well, how do they get that? What do they do to deserve that? I'm just like, what the? And it just goes on and on, and they just feed that. And the more they keep feeding that, the more it becomes their own worst enemy. And it is, because it's not making their chariot come in. It's not allowing them to work on their own ships coming in. It's almost because they're so worried about what you're doing, Aries Taurus, that they are not even focused on themselves anymore. They're keeping themselves in their own little dark little cubby hole um, of destitution and no moving forward. It doesn't matter if they have a job or not. They're not, you know, they're so worried about what you're doing. They need to worry about themselves. I guess, you know, sometimes I always think that like, you know, maybe because you don't really have anything going off. Maybe you don't have anything going on in your life. So you're so worried about somebody else's life. What? Just worry about your own life. You know, don't worry about what they're doing. Worry about how you're going to make your life better. I guess I ain't got nothing better to do than worry about what you're doing. Making your life into a Jerry Springer show over here for no reason. Big happy changes coming to you. But you are kind of in the waiting game for the next cycle. But yeah, for the perfect timing for the next cycle. But that's because of the imprints over here. Right? So that's going to be a little bit of a while. But yeah, because they don't have the will of fortune in their own life. They're so worried about what's going on in your life. But you know, maybe if they're worried more about what's going on in their life, then they can have a better life. Right? Maybe they should have stayed envious because when they were envious, maybe they could have went after their goals and could have seeked something better for themselves. Let's see. 
because they can say, oh, well, Aries Taurus got this. I can do that too. See, that, that, that's good. That's, that's great because then you can say, yeah, if they can have that, I can have that too. But that's not the way this worked. What ended up happening was they have that. I want that. Hey, wait a minute. How'd they get that? Oh, and then it turned into jealousy. So that's where all of this unfairness and why they're treating you so bad came through. Um, and like I said, in the near future, they're so obsessed about what you're doing. They just can't keep their mouth shut. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.